One thing that's different about this year's uh, event is that in the opening plenary, we've really made a big effort to highlight what we think is the future of cancer medicine, which is the use of genomics, targeted agents, and immunotherapy uh, in combination to multimodality approaches to, to cancer uh, therapy in the future. So that's one thing that is a little different. Uh, the other thing is a, a more specific difference is that um, we used to ha have uh, only current approaches to uh, current concepts in organ site research and reflective of what we think is sort of the cross-discipline nature of cancer research now, we've, uh, we've taken some of those uh, sessions and turned them into a current uh, concepts in therapeutics which talk about um, platform uh, agents like PI3 kinase inhibitors and TOR inhibitors and uh, go across different disease disciplines. Um, so that's uh, something that's a little bit new is that we've added these cu current concept sessions in therapeutics. Um, we took uh, the suggestions of the program committee in different disciplines and often tried to integrate uh, more than one discipline within uh, the major symposia, um, certainly within the current concept sessions, both in therapeutics and in, uh, in organ sites, uh, and even uh, in the forums to try to get uh, different viewpoints on uh, major problems. Because I think that the era of you know, very uh, cloistered disciplines is, is lo long over in cancer research, and, and the solution for cancer patients is going to be multidisciplinary, so we should emphasize that at the meeting. I really hope that, um, that people who come to the Open and Plenary, um, especially um, maybe some of the younger people in the audience, will see uh, a vision for, uh, for cancer medicine and cancer biology going forward. So uh, the opening plenary, I think, is always a really exciting time. Um, it sort of sets the tone for the rest of the meeting. Um, I think the current concepts in therapeutics uh, are going to be of interest to a wide number of, uh, of individuals. Uh, in terms of getting an idea of how, to, how these uh, different signaling pathways in some cases or different modalities uh, are potentially applicable across different cancers. It does take a big village to pull this together from you know, the president of the ACR, uh, the indefatigable Judy Garber, to uh, Mars Foti, who's uh, really a force in nature. Mars could have been the CEO of any Fortune 500 company and been a, a raging success, but she's devoted her life to, to cancer research and to making uh, all of the people here's uh, research careers uh, flourish. Um, down to uh, all the subcommittee chairs who uh, really uh, were critical coming to meeting uh, first in June and, and uh, participating in numerous calls and, and conferences to help select the best people uh, to present at the meeting, the best topics to present at the meeting, and ultimately uh, to participate in uh, selecting the, uh, the abstracts uh, to be presented in posters and at the mini symposiums at the meeting. So it really, and, and of course the AACR staff, I can't forget them. I mean, the, you know, the staff who, uh, who run this meeting, Peggy Pickles, Denise Chambers, Kelly Isaacs and their colleagues, Jeff Rubin, these people um, are just amazing uh, adjuncts to make uh, the people who run the meeting and get to sit up here and do videos uh, uh, much like, have the job, to make their job just so much easier. The ACR meeting is really a one-stop shop for cancer uh, research, for finding out what's going on in the field. Um, it's the world's largest cancer uh, conference. It's the most thorough and complete cancer conference. And you know, coming to a meeting like this, a new graduate student, for example, can get uh, a glimpse of uh, the entire uh, field of cancer research from very basic uh, prevention research, epidemiology research, um, to uh, uh, all the way up to clinical trials at the other end and with a, a, a large bevy of uh, very intensive molecular biology and cell biology in between. Mm -hmm.